Well, happening today, neighbors can provide input on how they'd like to see the Sunrunner bus service improve. Eight on your side, Nicole Rogers joining us with how you can get involved. Good morning. That's right. Tonight is the first of two public design meetings, both hosted by the city of St. Petersburg. We've seen a number of people getting to know the Sunrunner and knowing that it's here and now utilizing it. The Sunrunner took on its first voyage last October. Tom Sullivan was along for the ride. When I think of public transport, I want to get to where I'm going as quickly as possible. And it's not always possible with what we had to use before Sunrunner. He takes the Sunrunner every day, saying it's made his life easier as someone who relies on public transit in St. Petersburg. Immeasurably easier because I don't drive and I'm dependent on public transportation. This schedule every 15 minutes till, till 8 p.m. at night, and then even every 30 minutes till midnight, I get to where I'm going anytime very conveniently. Now the city of St. Petersburg wants your input on how they can make it even better, and they're not coming empty handed. City leaders join forces with the Pinellas Suncoast Transit Authority and Forward Pinellas to put together this 925 page study, taking a closer look on how public transit is serving the community. The best part, the Sun Runner will remain free until November. Take it for free. Don't worry about paying to park. Don't have to worry about finding a parking spot. You can take the Sun Runner for free and we'll get you there in 35 minutes or less. Now this meeting will run from 530 to 730 tonight at the St. Petersburg College Midtown campus. Now there will be another meeting at the same time and place next Wednesday in St. Pete and Cole Rogers 8 on your side.